Hello everybody and welcome back to Snacko, where today we are trying to get all the things. All the things for the... Oh, there's some mail here. All the things for the obelisk. So we need to get ourselves like 30 carrots. So I'm going to have to clear up a bit more farm space today. And uh, while well, my turnip here is done, I think I'm just going to leave that space there though. I think it's going to be left until... And then I'm going to tidy up the edges here once these turnips are done and then we'll uh, till some more space and I'll make some more path going down there. But let's have a look at what is in my uh, mail now. So your number one supporter, my little munchkin. Gosh, I didn't know if you and Mikan made it safely, but it sounds like you did. She wrote me a letter a couple of days ago and told me about your big trip. How exciting. I've always wanted to jump off a ship during a th thunderstorm. Really? Wow. Anyways, I hope you're eating well. I'm sending you some stew. Make sure to eat all your vegetables. If you don't, I'll know. I'll just know. Your number one supporter, mom. <laughs> you know that's a mom letter, right? Uh, okay, fine. Carpenter, he's going carpenter. Well, we could definitely invite a carpenter now, couldn't we? Let's go into town and just see what all the uh, things is. We don't have to water today, fantastic. Let's just see what the deal is in town at the moment. And I want to sort out some stuff uh, today to sell in my cell box. What's up here? No boot house, no littering. I'll throw a root veggie at you. It's a log recording turnip growth. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I will clean up your yard for you. There you are. That looks a bit better, doesn't it, now? That looks like it's meant to be there. That's decorative, isn't it? All right, then. Let's head into town proper. I wonder if I can, like, change up these uh, th this path, make it a bit nicer. Let's see if we can. Oh no, we can't until we get to here. Okay. Boo. Yeah, I know I can... I can do more. <sighs> if I do that. But it takes ages. more for less stamina. Shall I try and get the wall down? Why not? I want to try and get all these little bits of debris around, like a little bit more done every day so that the place will be tidy for when we want to build new buildings. Gives me a decent amount of materials as well, probably better than just taking a tree down or something. So that's starting to look a lot nicer. I want to like remove and change around these these street lamps as well. Okay, so probably what I could do with doing is taking down this wall here so that I can build a carpenter shop in this space. I may take down this street lamp as well. Fire fragments. Cool. I need those for new street lamps, I'm guessing. And then we'll uh, invite the carpenter to the island. I'll have a look at what the... what the stuff to do today is as well. I think if I just work on one section at a time, though, it'll be a bit easier. So if I work on, like, this section, I might try and get this house down as well and the planters and stuff. see maybe maybe around here we could sort out some this is good because it's all materials that I'll need for buildings and stuff and it just makes it look so much tidier when things are intentional rather than just junk there we go. I've got grass seed there as well which is handy that's one of the things I'm going to need yellow petals now right then 
Hey Sprout, I've got a good idea to get folks to move here. You know all these broken homes and debris around town. Why don't you try cleaning up? If you need cloth, I'd get that from the sacks laying around. If you need more room, whack down some of those houses. So what's that actually about? Ship 20 clay. Oh, okay. So how much clay do I have? I've been... I have been collecting... Oh yeah, I can totally do that. I've totally been cleaning up all the junk. I'm going to ask a carpenter to come to town, I think, as well. It hasn't asked me to do that, but... I don't know whether it will. I don't know whether it will be like, yay! Tink, yellow fur friend. Oh, it's a friend, sorry. Tink is the name. Taking naps is my game. I also like to tell stories. Maybe I'll tell you one. But not today. Okay, so I've got I made a bit of room for Carpenter's house. I'm gonna I'm gonna invite an easygoing carpenter, I think. I think we want easygoing people at the start, and then we might want some sass monsters a bit later. <laughs> I could imagine if we if we want a tavern, we'd want a sassy tavern owner or something like that. But carpenters, I feel like they should probably be laid back. So let's go and invite someone. Because I invited my grocer, so that means I can invite someone new now. Okay. So we can have easygoing, quirky, sassy, prim and proper. But I think easygoing is better for now. Maybe a quirky one. A quirky scientist or something like that, and a and a sassy bartender, and a prim. And, we've already got a prim and proper in the, the librarian sort of lady, the sort of museum lady. Okay, so post. Invite sent. We'll see if someone turns uh, answers our reply answers our thing tomorrow. Right. Okay. So let's ship. And then split stack. 20. It's always nice when it tells you how to split a stack. It's always very nice. Is there anything else that I wanted to sell? I feel like I'd like to sell my bamboo. Um, and my other bamboo. I don't know where we've got random bits of bamboo. I've got a blueprint book that I need to sell as well. I've got potato seeds and things that I need to plant. Um, I think string and stuff would be... I think I should be selling things that I know I can get more of easily. Softwood I definitely can. Hardwood I don't know about. But birch and toasted birch. I'm actually going to sell those. And my catfish. I don't have a way to cook yet, so may as well add my turnip. My... Oh, did I need turnips? Oh, no, I think I need turnips still for the goddess, and I still probably need apples. But I could sell my green onions, although I had a quest for that. Did that quest get fulfilled? Let's have a look. Make sure to write everything in your journal you're going to need, because I'm going to forget. Well, I, I kind of remembered. We've done... Uh, we're doing the bamboo shoots at the moment. I don't know how to get mist crystals, so I'm trying to work on that at the moment to restore the statue. But it might be that I have to restore obelisks for it. Oh yeah, so you have a carpenter on the island. Place five brick planters, craft a basic stove and ship 30 potatoes. Okay, well, planting potatoes would help with that, wouldn't it? A bit, probably. I always go past it and then I, I, I only ever use Q because I'm weird like that. So let's finish that up and then I can plant my four potatoes in. It'll be nice and easy today. Like I say, we're not being particularly um, worried about mixing things in planters and stuff like that at the moment. I'm just trying to get a basic outline going here. So I expect the next place I want to put a plot will be here. And then 
I probably need to eat some apples or something. And then I might go and chop down some more trees or something like that. I don't know. Make some furniture. We could maybe ship furniture as well. For good money. We definitely need to be getting apples for the... We need something like 40 apples. So if I just eat a couple of apples and then chop down some wood and then eat a couple of apples and chop down some wood. Um, and we're going to have more money tomorrow. So I'll buy a load of carrot seeds tomorrow. I think we might have some carrots possibly growing around here. I'm not really sure what I've got planted at the moment, but uh, lots and lots of turnips, I think. And a few potatoes. Did I have any carrots? Also, let's read this uh, blueprint book and see what we get. I learned some crafting recipes. Wooden bow, wooden arrow, potted tulips, fake dirt rug. Lovely. Fake grass, potted evergreen, and a bomb arrow. Well, it's pretty cool that uh, we got a bow and arrow. That would be useful when we find enemies. Which we haven't found yet, so I'm not going to worry about making weapons until maybe we find an enemy. But yeah, I think we'll, with clearing out, we'll try and clear out this section down here next. And just continue the plots that way. And I'm going to head out to the grassy plains now. And see about... Oh no, I've gone to town. I meant to go the other way. Oops. So I've shipped my 20 clay for my one quest. And so we're going to see about, like... Um, you know, finishing off the obelisk, basically. Sure. Was there anything else that we needed to do? Did we invite the carpenter? Can't remember. Rats. I think we did. If not, we'll have to do it when we get home. Right, so what I need to be doing at the moment for the apples is just... Oh, no. Right, six apples. We'll do the low stamina way, because otherwise I'm going to have to go through apples, like, so fast. Are we even hitting this thing? Like, I've hit it, like, 20 times now. Oh, yeah. You know why? For some reason, I'm hitting it with my hoe. Luckily, it doesn't use stamina when you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Just wastes my time. I don't know why. Sometimes I struggle to see the difference between the axe and the hoe a little bit if I'm not looking carefully. I'm just looking at a real quick glance. And then I'm like, but hang on, why is there not stop? Oh, right. getting two apples kind of per tree usually and I've done about one and a half apples worth of cutting there so I think we're okay for a bit the other thing we could do is um, cut down the toasted ones and get the oranges instead of apples So all of that work and we're about even for the apples. We just finished breaking even there, so I'll grab these guys. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. They're about as difficult to get down as the other ones. And uh, they didn't actually drop anything. Wow, how annoying. These are almost guaranteed to drop something nice. I'll have plenty of birch wood though, won't I? I could maybe make something. So we're on 25 apples. We're trying to get 40. Uh, but I should probably try and get more because I still need to go and cut down some bamboo shoots. We're still trying to get turnips, I think, anyway. Um, but the bamboo is right by the obelisk anyway, so we'll drop in and just double check what we need. It's definitely 40 apples. Unless I already put some apples in. Because I might have done. That might be worth checking. I'll go get my last bamboo shoot and then we'll... Uh, Check that out. I was really disappointed last time though because I had one bamboo shoot left to get. <laughs> I was like, I was so annoying. I had one bamboo shoot left to get and it was like, oh wow, we can see the obelisk in the distance. That's so cool. Um, and it just, I, I cut down a couple of bamboo and no shoots came out and I was just like, grrrr. <laughs> I was not impressed. found an egg laid by a fuzzy chicken. Wow. Let's go back to my axe though. Oh, I will try and chop down a tree with a hoe again, which is always super embarrassing to do on camera. Lovely. <laughs> right, let's try some more bamboo. see if I actually get a shoot this time. No! Ah. I don't know if there's a way to differentiate and see the ones that are going to drop a shoot or if it's just luck. But I was getting them all the time last time and then all of a sudden they stopped dropping shoots. It was very annoying. But I know we definitely need 30 carrots. I just want to get all of this other stuff out of the way. Yay! That's my shoot. Perfect. Let's hop in. Oops. By the way, with the shrine, um, I'm going to come back to that later. I have been, like, sort of doing a bit of research on that. And uh, apparently there's something you get later. That will make finding that chest much, much easier. So we'll go back and try and get gold once that thing is gotten. So. 10 bamboo shoots. I've got another turnip I can add in. So that's 9 of 30. I need another 21. I do need all 40 apples. So we'll go and get another 9 apples. Um, I've got all the earth fragments. I've got all the bamboo shoots. So we need 9 apples. And then we just need to remember turnips and carrots. Which is fine by me. Turnips and carrots. I love the see-through staircases and things. They're so pretty. Right then. When I chop down these guys, what do I get? I need to know. I haven't tried it yet. I'd like to get some shoots for these trees because they're quite pretty. Cypress wood. Ooh. Very nice. But then I need something else to eat other than green onions. I need a couple of apples now. But I'm running out of stamina quite aggressively. I love how many types of wood you get, like, 
just from... Okay, let's find the apples quickly. That's better. Um, I love how much you get just from... Just from being in the grassy plains. Like, you get three types of wood in here. And another one at home is the soft wood, the hard wood, the cypress wood, the, the birch wood, and the toasted birch. So it's not that you have to go, like, miles to get different wood types. Or well, there's one per area or something. I find that quite generous, to be honest. So I put in 31 apples. I need another nine, plus whatever I want to eat for the day. <gasps> that one didn't have an apple. No! I'm feeling like I probably need to plant more of these trees. I don't know if they, like, respawn well, or... If I am just deforesting, and... I mean, there are lots around, I guess. Okay, so we're nearly back up to full stamina now, which is great, so... I need to take down about four or five trees just to try and get the amount of apples I need. And then the obelisk is one stage closer to being done. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get the blueprint for the carpenter's house. And the money that I need to get the carrot seeds I need. Because I, I sold quite a lot of the bamboo that I was getting. And the the wood from the trees I cut down and things like that. Um, I sold all of that in order to get the carrot seeds. I think that's a smart play. I don't know. It might not be. It looks like trees are something that I can pretty much get. And I can get fruit with them that will help me. Oh my goodness. I need the apples. I cut down a whole tree and didn't get any apples from it. It's hard when that happens. It's so hard being a cat. Oh no, twice in a row as well. These trees suck. And I don't think you can tell which one's going to have and which one isn't. I don't think I'm having these apples done by the end of the day at this rate. Oh, come on, world. I'm so hungry. I do need to look into what I need to get a stove as well, though. I don't know if that might be something that comes from the carpenter, so I'll wait for the carpenter to come along and see. Oh, apples, thank goodness. No apples in that one. I'm just going to get as many apples as I can. Um, with the stamina I have and then I'm going to go home. There's lots of big fat fishies in the pond, but I don't know how to cook them yet. I mean, maybe cats can eat fish raw, I don't know. I'm going by some very human values right now, I guess. Ah, there's the shrine. Cool. And there's the miasma. And there's the way out. So the shrine isn't very far away from the way in. In fact, nothing really actually is. So yeah, tomorrow we need to get another three apples and take them over to the obelisk. But we've managed to finish all of the bamboo shoots. But it's hard going when I can't cook anything. I would imagine that once I start cooking, stamina is going to be less of an issue. So I think let's go to bed. Uh, oh, let me check 100% before... I love that you can see out of the door. That's of nice detail. Check that I am inviting the carpenter. Nice, I am. Don't accidentally cancel the posting, Shelab. Yes. Okay. Hey, y'all. 
have you been feeling so far? Great, you know? Like, how's the farm life? Great. Hey, that's good. I'm glad you're enjoying life here as much as I am. We've been getting along with everyone. We should both try and make some new friends. We can achieve more with the power of friendship. Or something like that. Alright, that's what I came here to bug you about. I just wanted to see how your farm was doing. See you around then. You can increase your relationships through taking quests, talking to people every day, and giving gifts. To give a gift, F hold an item from your inventory, and then talk to the recipient. So F to hold, okay. You can also get to know your friends better by triggering their flower events. Check your relationship levels with the villagers in your journal. Who knows, maybe one day you'll fall in love and confess. Confess, it's so cute. Ori! Hello, my name's Ori. I'm a carpenter. I'm always travelling and taking on new work, but Snacko Island looks like the perfect place to unwind and set my paws down for once. Except I've got a blueprint for a carpenter's house. Let's have a look. Simple carpenter building. We need, um, oh, birch wood and toasted birch wood and iron ore. Where am I going to get iron ore from? Oh, okay. Guess we're looking for that today as well then. Let's go and see what's going on in town if there's anything at the quest board in town. And I should also have money now, in theory. Because of all the stuff I put in the cell box yesterday. So I should have the money to get some carrot seeds, hopefully. Let's have a look. Anything on here? Nothing new. That is fine. I'm not ready to start on things in the museum yet. What do you mean the shop isn't open right now? I thought the shop was open at 7 o'clock. Do we have opening hours on here outside or anything? Is it because it's a Saturday? Is it not open on a Saturday? Hmm. Why does it tell me, like, shop opening hours? write down notes here. Oh nice, have I got a note section in here then? I write notes about the people. In my quest log maybe. No. Ah, there's a notebook in the planner. Okay, so I could totally put notes in the planner. So I could put like, um, for example, oops, obelisk. I need nine apples. And then I need 21 turnip, 30 carrot. There we are. We've got a nice notebook in game. That's fine. I like doesn't mind don't mind writing things down if they actually in game give me something to write the things down. But most games don't. It's nice. That's good. I write down all the things I want. Clay, red petal, and yellow petal. Need to put down some of these planters around the place and make it look pretty. Maybe one to either side of the notice board, coupled by the shops and things like that. But yeah, where am I going to get iron ore? Hmm. I'm going to have a little run around to places I haven't been. The Mushroom Forest. Yeah, we're going to go to the Mushroom Forest.
This place looks awesome cool. And I can see a shrine in there. Entire thing is covered in my asthma though. So we ain't finding our iron here. That was a cool cutscene though. <laughs> <laughs> so two farm, two goddess pond, two mushroom forest. We can't go anywhere in the mushroom forest. So I'm guessing either there's caves and things around the goddess pond or somewhere in the... We need to run around and try and work this out, though. So I'll run around around the goddess pond, see if I can find anything there, and then if not, we'll just bash rocks in the normal place. Okay, there's fish in there and things. See the frozen tundra. Let's go. Let's check out the frozen tundra. I think this is covered in miasma as well. So these are all the cool places we can visit. But I very much expect we're going to have the same problem again. Yeah. Totally covered in miasma all the way around. No caves or anything like that. So my guess is that the grassy plains are the only places that are not going to be totally miasmed over. And so we won't be able to go to these other places until we're allowed to, basically. So this goes to my farm. There's a lot of bamboo around here. I'm just going to check it all out, I think. This goes to the grassy plains. Alright then. I think I'm just going to have to see what's here and, and if I can see any caves or if I can just chop some of the... So I've got clay, but no like iron ore or anything like that. Aha! Iron ore. This can be refined into iron bars. Lovely. Now then, if I look at my recipes, was it ore that was needed or was it bars? It was ore. Okay, so we just need to go and get iron ore. So I need to just bash as many rocks as possible. And I guess it's just a, a chance to get them. So that's two. And I'm going to have to cut down a couple of these um, toasted birch trees as well. Oh, four. Okay, I got two out of that one. Nice. How many have I got now? Is it definitely four? Yeah. Well, this is okay. I'm noticing it's a rather sunny day. Um, and I uh, probably haven't watered any of my crops yet. Should maybe go and do that. How, mu how much do I need for this house? Let's just see how much I need for it. I need 30 toasted birch wood. So just a couple of trees, I reckon. So I think we should just get that stuff and then head back, craft the house so that Ori can move in. And then in between doing things for that, I'll work on... So that's uh, five. I need about 25 more. I think, anyway. How much, how much do I have? Toasted. I think I sold all my toasted. So I've got 10 and I need 30. So I need another 20. Should be about four more trees, I think. Obviously, I'm getting oranges from some of them as well. So like tangerines. So I can eat those. And then 
I think we'll go and water the crops and build the house. And then we'll come back and try and get more apples. Apples are the only kind of scavengeable that I then need. And other than that, I'm working on... Uh, that's to the goddess. I think if we go through the goddess pond, there's a way over to my farm. So, hang on. I haven't even gotten all the things, things I said I needed to get. Ugh. I'm getting obsessive with like, oh no, I really need the things for the, the obelisk. But also I need to do this quest. One thing at a time, she lab. Twenty-three. Need seven more. I need four more. Must be getting undergrown ones or something. The fully grown ones need to have about five, but these don't. It's fine though. Okay. That is everything we need to make our building perfect. To head to town then. Place the carpenters. Maybe grab some carrots. Uh, depending on whether the shop is open or not, I, I don't know. Desert Canyon? Can't even get in there. Can't even, like the other ones we can at least try and get into. Town, perfect. That's where we need to go. I need some kind of miasma clearing spell or something. Right, so I think we're going to be putting it here. Oh no, I do need to go back to my farm. Hang on, because I need to make it on the workbench first. Because I'm. But yeah, it does I don't think we're open on a Saturday, are we? Hello. Prizes for the for the game. What is this game? Move and hit, okay. Oh, it's pinball. Flippers weren't flipping. What did I get? Wow, I got a potted ed evergreen out of the prize capsule. For some reason, you have a compulsion to cover the street in a bunch of lights. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Don't mind a bit of pinball. So yeah, I'm guessing no Saturdays, no Sundays. But like I, like I say, I'm not sure. Like, oh, my planner maybe did tell me. Opening hours. Crafting recipe. Necopedia. Achievements. Help. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe it'll be on my bookshelf though. That might be a thing. But what well, I'm guessing is Monday to Friday, seven till three or something. I'll just come back every day. Right, anyway, to my farm. Let's go and make the carpenter's house. But yeah, we've got all these mushroom forest area. We've got the... 
tundra area, we've got the desert canyon area, all of which we need to explore once we can start clearing miasma out of the way. So, you know, this game seems to have some legs on it. Right then, so shall we shall we do a watering? Do the watering. We had such a nice rainy lucky day yesterday. But today we're doing all of this by hand. So I can either harvest the green onions or I can leave them to be onion onions. Ah, cool. Looks like we've got a harvest today of uh, turnips. We can take those up to the goddess then. Not, no, to the obelisk even. Oh, I think I might have accidentally removed one or something. Oh well. Still learning. I don't want any grass seeds anywhere. Grass, 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 grass. Yes, there we are. Two. So there's a couple that I can't get rid of yet because I don't have the grass seeds for it. I can buy those or I can... I don't know. got 12 onion seeds from somewhere. I'm just gonna plant wherever, whatever I can wherever I can. Definitely going to need another patch today, I think. But yeah, I should water before I try and do that because... I'm going to use a little bit of stamina just to get through this a bit quicker. With watering, it actually doesn't seem to use an awful lot of stamina. So I think I can get away with that a bit more than I can with tree chopping. I think tree chopping seems to use a lot. Whereas probably eating one apple or something would be enough to like water almost my entire farm as it is right now. I don't know if there's ever going to be an easier way for me to grow things though. So I would imagine that I think at the moment because growing takes so long, I'm going to try and keep my vegetables and sell things like wood that I can get immediately. I think that might be just an easier way forward. I don't really want to eat apples, I want to eat tangerines if I can. Okay, lovely. Right, so now we can, uh, actually, I think I've got a turnip seed that could go in there. Just trying to... Be as efficient as I can, you know? Um, and let's get rid of these. And plant one more plot. Let's get the hoe. I will get the house done as well. I might not get the obelisk done today, but that doesn't really matter too much because I'm waiting on things like getting carrots anyway to do the obelisk. So I figure I'll carry on with like uh, Mikan's meow tasks in the meantime. Probably a better way to do it. A magenta petal. Okay, we're done. Lovely. Let's plant things. I'm 
water them. I don't know if my sprite is meant to be helping me. I think they said that sprites are not in it yet. So there's probably a lot of things that you can do to like automate. Get the sprites of water, that sort of thing. But not right now. Simple Carpenters is crafted. So let's pop that in next to the grocers in town so that we know kind of where everything is then. Okay, lovely. As long as we get it in before the end of the day, then we've got plenty of time. So I want to put it kind of here. Let's get my building square out. And I need to... Uh, let's just do grid snapped. Alt for free rotation though. Perfect. Now I just have to wait for them to show up tomorrow. Nice. And I'll have to check the grocers tomorrow and just see if that's uh, still good. But yeah, I like this. It's like a cool little bit of town and then I'm going to chop this one down. I might even be able to get two in here. But I want to make it more like a street, so maybe I'll start across here, I'll put a third one in there, and then start across this way. This looks like there's one, two, three, four across this way. So I have like a little, a little street this way, and then a little street this way. And then we can start on the, like, outside bits. Like, it's definitely like someone's house up here, look, we can put in all sorts. And then there's like this whole massive area that we can put loads of houses in. So we're, we're very, very early in our journey, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, having a carpenter will be awesome. And we're supposed to be getting a stove. And I don't think I have the blueprints for a stove yet. Okay, let's get away from all that stuff but yeah that's great like I, I feel quite happy about my progress today how much money do I have five thousand oh the money is cocoa beans <laughs> I love it chocolate money Right, so while I was hoeing out that patch, I didn't get any more grass seeds, did I? No, I got some grass, but no grass seeds. Oh no, I did, two. Haha, <laughs> perfect, that's exactly what I need. Lovely. So now, I can chop this down. And with any stone we've made, we might be able to make some more, um, let me see, some more. No, I can't apparently. Brick pile. I was thinking I could maybe get some new um, paths, but I can't. No. A tool set. Hammer and nails is all you need to build all sorts of stuff. Yeah. That might be useful. That's another tool that I don't have. Okay. Remembering that. Pile of bricks, burlap sack, fake grass, lumber pile. My potted evergreen. Oh, I see, that's a... I need an evergreen sapling. And then I can make one of those. 
Okay, cool, but I can't make any more path at the moment. Sad times. So I'll kind of, for now, have to imagine it's there, I think. Now then, is there anything I want to sell today? Let's have a look. So I ended up with quite a bit of softwood again. A little bit of extra toasted birch, so let's sell that. And the cypress wood. And the extra birch wood. Because I'm chopping that down to find apples anyway. So I figure that that's probably a good thing to... Like, I, I think the petals and things are a good thing to keep hold of. The green onions I could sell. 100%. Birch saplings, I'm feeling like I probably should be either crafting with those or or like planting them somewhere. Iron ore, how much does that go for? 150 each, that's pretty nice. 12 uh, turnips, we're going to keep those because we need them. And then hope that I can buy some carrots soon from the grocers. But this is all doing well, it's looking nice now, it's looking how I want it to look, so that's amazing. Could get another one in up here, or I could just have this as a little space for fencing and things like that to go around, maybe. I think it's time for bed. I think I've done all the things I want to do with my day are done so far. I'm happy just to slowly get the apples because I have to wait for the carrots and the turnips anyway, then why not just slow boat it? And do all the other things I'm meant to be doing. So once the carpenter's in, I can maybe work on my stove and we'll maybe be able to get some cooking going. That would be quite nice. Yay, rainy day. No watering for me. Woohoo. So the green onions are turning into proper onions now. Um, we don't have anything that we can harvest yet, so that's fine. I might head up to the obelisk and stick the turnips in and maybe get a few more and try and finish off the apples. I don't think we have enough turnips yet. Meat, we'll probably have enough turnips tomorrow. Here we go! Ori is here. It's a lot quieter than in the city. It'd be great for work. Let's go and see Ori. Say hello. I do want to try and say hello to like Iva as well every day if I can and and uh, Mrs. Snooty Pants, <laughs> Miss Curator. Can I help you? I think talking every day does still help, so. Iva, when's your shop open? Morning. Thanks for having me here. I'll work hard to make my store successful. That's nice, but can I get out the door? Thanks. Oh, I think she just opened her store, <laughs> which I kind of need to go to. I need loads of carrot seeds, please. The shop isn't open right now because it's Sunday. Okay, so probably tomorrow we can get our carrot seeds. Maybe I should till some plots ready for the carrot seeds tomorrow so carpentry wise are you open friday and sunday it's closed okay is there a sign here ah there we are monday to friday seven to three and this one is so i'm guessing you'll go in the little doors double doors nine to four close friday and sunday okay so we that's where our opening hours actually are that we can do okay cool i'm gonna slowly just be clearing bits of town out as i come over here because i can It makes it nicer to look at, doesn't it? 
and it gives me a few, a few resources that I might want. And this might be a good area for the next place we want to build, rather than tearing that house down. Might be nice to have like a little street and, and basically have something opposite. I don't know. But again, I can move anything I want to move. Anything and everything that I want to move can be moved. So I don't need to worry about, like, have I put that in the wrong place? Oh, will I want to move that later? No, it's fine. You can. You can just do it. Okay, so I'm going to head over. I think now we've opened up Ori's place and we've said hello. Well, I actually haven't said hello. I don't know where Ori is right now. But I'm sure we'll bump into them. Let's have a look. Okay, so so far the entire island is girls except for Nobu. <laughs> oh my goodness. Girl Power Island. So, I wonder, like, with a house like this, for example, do we need to just get rid of it? I can't build there. And there's a couple of places. Oh, look, Ori's over here. Thanks for having me here. That's okay. Hello. Oh, that's Tom Egan. Okay, hello there. I'm Tom Egan and I'm here for a little trip. How are you? I'm fine. Now, I still need mist stones for that uh, statue, but the, I think the mist stones might come from doing the obelisks. So we might that might be way further down the line. I don't know. Okay, so next quest let's go into oh, i think i've gone past it i always do this i run through the arch uh let's go into the, the grassy plains and cut down the rest of the apples that i'm going to need i have a couple of oranges that i can cut that i can eat So once the bamboo and the apples are in, it's going to just be a case of waiting for turnips and carrots. So Mrs. is going to be... Oh, hang on. I'm not seeing all the apples I had last time. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm on eight. Okay, that's fine. I think I only need like nine. So, like, I may as well pop in any turnips I need and stuff, and then I can just, like, be like, yep, then I just need some carrots. I I may have carrots already planted. Am I using my hoe again to chop down a tree? Yeah, somehow. There's a certain amount of chops I expect to do, and when it starts going over that, I'm like, oh, hang on. So we've got some apples that we can hand in and we've got some eating apples as well. Perfect. Very good. Is that the same shrine? Oh yeah, it is. By the way, I do know how to get that chest now. There's two ways. There's the way that the dev intended. And there's the cheeky way. That I don't think was intended. So I kind of feel like I don't want to use that way. Particularly. Oh, come on. Can I, can I exit? Can I get out? You're supposed to be able to get out. But apparently I need to just do the puzzle again to get out. Fine. See if I can... Uh... 
I'm way, way, way too slow to do this. Maybe I will show you the what I think is the cheeky, cheeky way of getting the chest. Right. Ah! Well, maybe I won't, because I think I'm gonna just fall off. Okay. I am not that. I am not that good. If I could remember to go through the door first, I'd be way more likely to get gold on this. See? We were only 24 seconds. I reckon I could do it in 21 if I was just actually quick. There we are, I did it! Nice, we got goals. Ace. <laughs> no, let's exit. So I got gold. Nice. But it doesn't do anything. You don't even get like any rewards for it. So uh, yeah, that was a nice little detour, wasn't it? That was a fun time. So. Let's head up to the obelisk. I'm going to pop in all the turnips I have and then all of the apples I have and see if that's enough to at least finish the apples off. Done. We're on 21, so we need 9 more turnips and 30 more carrots. So I will change that on my planner. We've done all the apples. We need nine more turnips. 30 more carrots. So I'm, I've kind of done all the chopping I need to do, which is quite nice. And I should see if there's anybody else we can invite or if there's anything else I can do for the meow stuff. <clears throat> Because restoring the obelisk we're working on, restoring the statue we can't do right now. So, 30 potatoes shipped. So I need to make sure that we've got potatoes planted. Uh, I could start working on brick planters. And I don't think we can make a basic stove yet at all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check with the carpenter about that maybe. I don't know on that one. I think I might need to go into another day for that. But my thoughts at the moment, I don't have any more seeds, I don't think. But I could try and work on more money. More iron stuff. Like oh yeah, I could try and get those iron tools. That might be a really good thing to work on. So let's just chop a few stones down and see if I can get some iron. I think I had one piece. I think so I need like another four or something. Yeah, those tiny stones don't really give me anything. Uh, see what else I can find. Oh, there's something. Just clay. Oh, there's clay floating here for some reason. So what am I on? Like two, three pieces of iron, something like that? Some more stones up here, look. 
grab those. Particularly the big ones seem to yield iron. Sometimes you even get two pieces if you're lucky. I'm guessing they're not stacking properly. I can tidy that up. That's better. Now let's go to where the iron is being kept and keep that open so that I can see as it stacks. And I'm looking for five, so that's four. Still four. <laughs> there's some more over the other side there as well that I'll try and grab. I just figured I'd, there's something I, I want to do more with my day, you know? So let's have a look for... Uh... Oh, my cookbook. How do I make it though? It's like, yeah, it's wonderful that I can make cooking recipes, but I don't have any kind of like stove or anything like that that I can. Tool set, barrel, brick pile, fake grass. But yeah, maybe if I make the tool set, that might be a way to get things. So let's see, softwood, I've got that, stone, I've got that, iron ore, I've got that. So if we go back to my crafting bench now, I should be able to make that, I think. Head on down the hill to my farm. And then we can play around and see what we can do with that. Um, thought I was stuck for a second there. Sometimes I will press shift. I'm so used to hold shift kind of games. It can be a bit of a change when suddenly you're not expected to do that anymore. It's going to change out, uh, clear out the area here that's probably going to be used for my carrot growing. of uh, rocks in the way as well. Right, that should be plenty of room now, I think, for that. Let's uh, go to the hoe. these areas out. I think there should be some things ready tomorrow, so that will free up a bit of space. No, I don't want that. Nah. Basically, if there's long grass there, then you need to hoe it twice. If there's just short grass there, you need to hoe it once. And if there's flowers there, you need to hoe it sometimes like three times. two new beds done and I think we'll have some space for carrots elsewhere as well. So there will be 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 spaces already and then I'll just need another eight spaces. I'm hoping we can get 30 carrot seeds. I don't know if we'll have enough money. They are quite expensive. So anything that I can sell today would be ideal. So if I sell some softwood maybe. Or some birch wood or something. Yeah. But I think that's enough for me to water. You know, on dry days where I need to water, that could be a bit of a pain. Let's make our tools then. Stone, softwood, iron ore. Made a tool set. Hammer and nails. Okay. 
consumables, equipment. Yeah, a rod, a bow, and a sword. Sleeping box. Sleep anywhere you want as long as you can stay dry. Hmm, interesting. That's like a, a sleeping bag, effectively. Advanced technology needs mist crystals. Okay, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna get my tool set. Okay, well I made a tool set. Um let's see. I'm using it. I'm trying to do things with it. Guessing that maybe that's not something that is a usable tool. So maybe that's something that will be required in a recipe at some point. Well, I'll hang on to it. Disappoint. Let's go to my mailbox and see if there's anybody that I can invite. New friends. So no particular profession at the moment, just new friends. I'm not sure that I want to be building a house just for new friends. I'm going to spend some time clearing up my house a bit, my farmyard. I feel like we're getting more to a point where it's going to be cleared out and nice to work with. Give me some materials to sell as well. And then I feel like I need to start on the planters, actually. So let me see. I needed to make... Um, is it brick planters? Let me just double check. Five brick planters and place them in town. Yeah, okay, we could definitely do that. need yellow petals and red petals and a lot more clay okay so if I go around with my hoe and I hoe up red flowers I might get red petals sometimes I can do that outside of my plot though. We've got yellow and magenta. again. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you don't always seem to get petals. There's a point as well. I should grab up all the rocks as much as I can. Let's 
place is already looking a hundred times better just from getting rid of all the stuff on the ground. A bit of clay there. Nice. That's enough clay for that second planter, which is great. And then I need to be getting potatoes to sell as well, so... The whole meow thing might take a little while, but it's our thing to work on right now. Um, because I don't even know how to make a stove. A stove would be so good though. It would be super cool to have a stove. If I wanted to put like lots more planting area in, then I definitely have that now. <laughs> Have a nice clear area for things. I'm just trying to hoe where the flowers are and hope that I get petals. We've got some red, three red petals there. I think I could make two of the planters. Yeah, I can. I need some more yellow petals and some more clay. I'll just slowly go through that and get the planters together as I grow the. That'll be my like, my active project while I'm growing, uh, passively growing things. I think I'm gonna need more space to grow. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to pray for rain a lot, I think. Because I need 30 potatoes and 30 carrots. Although I don't even know if I'll have the money for that, you know? So anyway, that'll do for now. Oh, there's a rock in the way. Okay. I feel like that's starting to look really cool actually. Um, so I could work a little bit more on this patch down here, getting that cleared out. Get that little patch up the top there, cleared out, and then we could do the other side of the path later on, just slowly get through it. I feel like I'm a good way through clearing out my field though. And I think we will go to bed and just do one more day. One more day. One more day. And then that will be it for this episode, I think. So today is unfortunately a sunny day. So we've got um, quite a few things to harvest today. Which will give us some space for the things that we want to buy. I'll buy as many seeds as I can. Um, these turnips will finish the turnip requirement in its entirety. So I'll pop over to Ivers and get some seeds and then we'll plant them and then we will water everything for the day. Uh, I might, I might pop up and put the turnips in just so that I know that I can sell any turnips that are left over after that. And we'll also go and have a look today, because it's now Monday, which is a nice day. Because it's a day when everyone's open, so hopefully we should be able to go and 
check out the carpenters. I can just buy carrots. Nice. A carrot seed is 126, and a carrot itself is 452. So I would be better off getting the seeds if I can. And potato seeds, okay. Thirty carrot seeds and thirty potato seeds, if I can. Six thousand is almost all my money, but probably worth it. This is where now I can't buy anything at the carpenters, and I really want something there. But if I do, I'll save up for it. Let's have a little look. What have we got here? The shop isn't open right now? When's it open? I thought it was open on a Monday. Nine till four. Oh, it's seven in the morning. That would be why. So let's have a look at what's on the, the board. Fish for Mika. Probably do that. I'll come back at nine. I'll go and do all of my planting, and then by that time it'll probably be time for the carpenter to be open. It looks really cool in there though. And then I'll do my fishing for me can later. It's always weird when you can see me can and then you go through and like, she's not there. It's always really weird. It's like, magical me can, it's being magical. See that one there? It looks like it's got a sapling growing out of it. See? Right then. I have rather a lot to do today with my farm. So, let's find all the seeds that I just got. Carrot seeds in particular. Yeah, I don't think I've got any carrots growing at the moment. And then I'll just fill in anything that I can't put down for carrot, uh, that any room I've got after I plant the carrots, and I will fill that in. I would imagine that full-on onions sell for more than just the green onions. Potatoes in anywhere we can't. Any any spaces that we have after we've done the carrots. I thought everything was really expensive, but it looks like you can sell everything for quite a lot, so it's it's kind of fine. I might need another one plot to fit all of these in. Yeah, I will do. So I either assume that I've already got some potatoes growing, which I think those might be, but that's only four of them. Yeah, no, I, I definitely need to put more in. 100%. I'm very happy with how this is all looking. Oh, why is there always a stone there? This is like real life gardening, I swear. Always soil full of stones. Okay, that's all done. Now let's plant these potatoes. And now we have to water everything. <laughs> Huge fun.
It's always good if you don't water the grass as well. I'm actually thinking once I've done these two plots, I'm going to go just down in a straight line, watering everything. I'll probably need to top my uh, watering can up though. Actually, what I might want to do before I come back uh, <laughs> is I might want to go to the carpenters while they're still open because it might take me the entire day just to water all of this. So, <laughs> just yeah. Might just go over there and check. I want to see what the carpenters is all about. So we'll do a bit more watering after I've checked that out. Hello, who are you? Buff pup? Oh, hello there. I think I burned at least two calories running here. Uh, yeah, I ran here. Why would I use a boat? If you run fast enough, you can run on water. No, I'm not tugging your tail. I like buff cat. Buff cat's cool. Right then, I think we can go in here and check the shop out now. So what's in your shop, Ori? Three catfish and a salmon. Hmm. Crafting blueprints, please. Or what do you have? Oh, you can sell me iron ore and stone and clay and things. Very nice. And new storage containers. Also very nice. Okay, fantastic. So. I would like to talk about blueprints. A bamboo well. Basic stove. That's what we wanted. A bold townhouse. Bound books, cabin bookshelf, cabin lamp, campfire with pot. Ah. Well, I'm going to go and build the stove. A drying rack. A furnace to make iron bars. Hardwood path. I wonder if you've got stone path. Simple stove. Softwood stuff, all the softwood stuff. Storage boxes. So much stuff. But not. ST for stone. Obviously, it's a carpenter, so maybe we'll have someone who works in stone later. But I've got the stove thing, and I can buy clay if I want to. Um, so if I have money, if I put, if I sell like all the extra stuff I get, like wood and things like that. Well, let's go and check out. Uh, I don't know if I need to read the blueprint or if I just, when I buy it, it just becomes a thing. No, it doesn't seem to be in my inventory, so I'm guessing. Oh, did I check out properly? I have a feeling I didn't check out properly. I was looking through everything too much, wasn't I? So... I think it was basic stove. B for basic stove. Or is it S for stove? Mini fridge. Rustic stove. No, I think I must have bought it. Hang on, let's just go back to, I'll go back to my workshop. If it's not on there, then I know I've made a mistake. Ah. Typical she lab shenanigans as usual. As usual. A 
I would know by the amount of money I had, but... But yeah, the Carpenters is really cool and there's loads of stuff you can get there. It's amazing. So... Equipment. Consumables. Buildables. Basic stove. There we are. Ten iron bars. Oh no! And five mist crystals. Wow, that's going to take some doing. Okay. I don't know how to get mist crystals yet at all. Alright then. Maybe going and getting the campfire with pot might be a useful thing to do in that case. Because that would allow me some like very basic early cooking if I can make that before the basic stove. Because I would like to be able to just, like do something with my fish at least when I go fishing. And then I will water the rest of the plants, don't worry. I, I have not forgotten that. Crafting blueprints, please. Right, so there was like a camp uh, fire with a pot. I would like to learn that and we can maybe try and make that somewhere. Oh, was there a... What's this? Oh really? There's a stove in here! There's a furnace in here that I can make things out of! Grrrr! Or no, no, is it a... It's showing me... How to make various things. But I need a furnace for it, so the furnace is going to need to come along very soon. The furnace um, is going to cost me something like three thousand for the for the template, and then it's going to take me time to then like grind up all of the iron ore I need. So if I can make a basic campfire and sto um, and pots just before that, then it might be just a gateway to slightly easier cooking to start with. Not sure, but we'll see. Let's have a look. Buildables. C -c 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 campfire with pots. So I need 10 toasted birch wood, cypress wood, fire fragments, and really two iron bars. Ah. <laughs> so I'm going to need to just sell enough stuff today. Uh, I'll do my rest of my watering because that's important. But I kind of know where I'm at with it at least. Definitely going in lines is the way forward here. Luckily the watering can does keep quite a lot of water in it. So you can probably water the whole field off one can quite easily at the moment. Whether that will change as we go into... Uh, full release and it's going to have like power-ups and probably different levels of water and cans and tools and things like that and it may change but at the moment you've got a lot of water in the watering can which is very very nice so one thing that I know I'm gonna need regardless is a lot of I'm gonna need extra money so I'm gonna need about 3,000 buckaroos <laughs> to buy myself the uh, furnace blueprint which I'm going to need to get all the iron bars that I seem to need for the stove and also for the campfire and, and everything so I definitely think a furnace is going to be the way forward making iron bars so that will be next session I think so for the rest of this session I'm going to spend some time just finding rocks and finding iron ore and I'm going to need that ah 
I need a sprinkler system. Don't worry, I know I missed one. We're nearly out of water, actually. Just enough to do the field each day. And then there's two more here that I missed. Done. Okay. Doesn't take actually too long. It does take a bit long. Let's go and fill the watering can. Make it easier for future she lab. Then I could do a fish. I could do a fish. As me can once. Once fish. I apparently need to catch a salmon. I'm not sure where I catch salmon. So far I've only caught things like catfish. That probably isn't a terrible place. This fishing reminds me of... Um, was it Alchemy Story? Going in all the wrong places. Yay! Come on, fishy. Once I can get them to bite, I'm fairly decent at reeling them in. So might there be one in the river and might that be a salmon? Yeah, okay. There is one in the river there. Let's give that a bob, a little bob. See what I get. That is a better fish. Okay. Was there an alpha? When will the full release come out? Will there be a demo? <laughs> I like it. There's a couple down here. Let's see if I can get a bite from them. Come on, bite. There's another catfish for me. I don't know where I'm getting the salmon from though. Catfish should be fairly easy, they seem to be in most of the ponds, but... Okay. And then that pond... Here is where I struggled before, this is where it all went a bit pear-shaped. That might be where I end up getting the salmon though. Don't know. I'm a bit loath to fish somewhere where I've fished previously and got stuck. So I've caught the, all the catfish that Mikan wanted, but not the salmon. Might salmon be a sea fish? Probably not. Might they be a fish from the grassy plains? Probably. I mean, what have I found so far? I found a better and I found lots and lots and lots of catfish, haven't I? Catfish have been in all the ponds. So I'm thinking if you want to change something, you've got to do something different, haven't you? So. We'll go to the grassy plains and see if there's any water sources around there that might have a salmon in them. Okay, there's a little pond with a pier here. I wonder what we could get. I'm going to run out of inventory space soon though. I need to put some things away and I do need to do some selling as well. That looks like some kind of... Boy carp or something. 
Likes to move around a lot. Yeah, I've got a couple of... Ooh, okay. We'll see if this is just a koi pond. Oh no, I've got another catfish. But one thing I can do is sell these fish. This is a really good pond, actually. Tree's full now. Let's go and sell some of these. And, you know, I can just slowly work on fishing and getting a salmon. And I can sell the fish that I can't use. And then eventually my fish can then be used for cooking once I have enough money to put together a furnace and start making iron bars. So that's going to be my, definitely going to be my next thing. Um, so need to sell things in my cell box. Sell things that I don't want to keep. So I do want to keep my fences and my paths because eventually I'll use those. I don't need to keep bamboo at the moment. Bamboo can go get sold. Um, I need to keep three of those, don't I? I'll sell the better and the part. Then again, part of me sat there thinking, well, do I really need to keep it? My egg is worth 100. I feel like I should keep that more. Wild berries, I can eat those. I could sell my sticks. I can always get more sticks. In fact, I can always get more wild berries, to be honest, and probably more plant material. The petals are harder to come by, so I'm going to keep those. Grass seed I kind of want to keep. Spare stone, I might just sell that. Earth fragments I will keep. I will sell a bit of wood. Not the hardwood though, but I will sell the softwood. That's easy to get back. Hardwood. Mm. My tool set, I wish I hadn't have gotten that in the first place. My brick planters are worth 170 each. No, I don't want to do those. Turnips times 20. How many turnips did I need? It was like... Not many, was it? Let me just check my diary, which tells me exactly how many I need. Nine. So, any turnips, I could split the stack and sell half of them. Or even 11 of them. Keep nine. Sell the 11, that gives me 5 grand. Sell that bamboo, another 600. Um, trying to keep the saplings at the moment, but the saplings and petals probably need to go inside into the chest, rather than me carrying them around. Hardwood and stone I think can stay, cardboard and string and stuff like that, and I think the path and the fences need to go into storage as well. Let's just do this. So I want you in storage, you in storage, that probably in storage. Keep some materials, that flame can go in storage. Saplings can, I don't need saplings on me all the time. That probably can, all the petals can. I don't know if I can craft from inventory, but I guess that's something we'll see in future. That needs to stay with me. Egg could go in there, I guess. I think clay should stay with me. I think anything I can eat should go on one line together. And I'll put my catfish away. That's better, I think. And then I can go fishing for other things and I'll have some inventory space, which would be really nice. 
Yay, yay, yay. But I think with that, catch, oh, hang on. Three catfish, but it thinks I've got two out of three. That's really strange. But it knows I've got... Is there like more somewhere else that I didn't know about? Maybe I just keep them on me, that's fine. Okay, so I think I'm going to go to bed now and we are going to pick this up tomorrow and I'm going to go and buy the furnace diagram and do everything we need to do to get the furnace. We're going to get some metal production up and running uh, next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.